how does Moho compare to Cartoon Animator? They both animate, one would hope, but surely it's not that simple, right? Right? We are all aware of how ludicrously expensive animation programs tend to be, with prices that easily surpass the four-digit mark. If only there were a program that was more affordable, yet still delivers a good enough experience? Oh, would you look at that! Moho Depew, aka the standard version for only 60 US dollars. How convenient. Deservedly though, the pro version is just shy of 400 US dollars, and you only need to pay for it once. Uh, keep in mind though, prices may fluctuate by the time you watch this video. Before we properly begin here, it is worth noting that Moho is vector-based. It's primarily made with puppet animation as its primary focus. Everyone got that? Good. Upon launch, you will be met with a stock standard interface. If you are familiar with other animation software, then you should find it easy to navigate. You get your draw space where you illustrate the uh, tools and menus along with a timeline. Uh, despite what you might expect from a vector-based based program, Moho is extremely rich in brushes of all sorts of shapes and textures. A drawing in it feels very intuitive and the flow of it is honestly extremely satisfying. You are able to create your own characters, rig them to your liking and move them with precision thanks to its very flexible bone system. Uh, they come with some dynamics specially designed to streamline your workflow to the best of their ability. These dynamics include things like torque force, spring force and damping force. In in simpler terms, it means that you are able to control the behavior of different bones in the skeleton by interpolating the movement of its brethren. That's a weird way to describe bones. Well, that's automation at its finest. <laughs> These features generally reduce the amount of logistics to worry about. Uh, you might also give a model some hidden limbs that you can easily switch to to your own convenience, which can make forth shortening and more complex angles and poses easier to tackle. Moho also has what is referred to as quad meshes that will allow you to distort and animate flat images with extreme precision. It also comes with Photoshop support, so you will easily be able to import images directly from Photoshop while preserving all the layers. This means that you can have a much easier time rigging. You can even make those fancy animated splash illustrations. Last but definitely not least, Moho has a built-in physics engine, so which, again, will make animating things blowing in the wind or being a affected by their environments much easier. To sum up, Moho is a very affordable program that offers a comprehensive experience that can fulfill a wide array of niches and visual styles. Cartoon Animator comes with everything an animator might need to breathe life into any character model. However, comma, it does belong to the aforementioned expensive variety of software. It is a one-time purchase that starts at a humble base of $150, a base that can be upgraded, but with the price it will cost is a hefty one. <laughs> this is mostly due to it giving access to the highly expensive motion capture technology. Its price naturally inflates to about three grand. Again, prices may fluctuate. These upgrades include facial motion capture features compatible with webcams and iPhone cameras, which have some of the best facial recognition in the market. It may also be used for full body mocap as well. The interface is also simple enough to wrap your head around. It's mainly divided into your standard workspace and your asset manager. The latter is where you can find most of its unique features, including, but not limited to, an auto lip syncing generation system that can directly interpret audio into a mouth movements on your model. It has a very precise spring system that takes advantage of a physics engine, much like Moho, to interpolate the movements of your entire model based on the movement of a single bone. We've done this song and done before. It also comes with a free deformation tool, uh, not free as in no money, but free in the sense that you can freely distort, squash, and stretch as is ideal for exaggeration. This deformation can extend beyond meshes to the bones of your skeletons themselves. And beyond all of that, you may also motion link your 2D model to pre-existing 3D animations. It serves as the perfect mid-ground to clean up your mocap scenes and immediately transfer them to your 2D models. As if that wasn't enough, 
of Cartoon Animator also is equipped to handle compositing and VFX editing. Uh, we have already glossed over it, but before we move on, we would like to elaborate on the mocap technology. As yeah, stated, it can interpret facial movements, so it is perfect for all y'all aspiring VTubers. It can uh, track as uh, broad as your entire body, or it can also operate on a micro scale tracking individual finger joints. In order not to take forever, uh, if you want more comprehensive reviews on Cartoon Animator, there are quite a few that you can check out over on our channel. But to keep it short, Cartoon Animator is designed with industry professionals in mind. Most of the processes are automated and it does rely on some very advanced tech to speed up your process as much as possible. On what is probably a more relevant note, how easy are they to use really? Uh, to be perfectly blunt, if we exclude the most basic bare bones animation apps, no animation program is that simple to learn. Especially for ones that completely switch from traditional techniques to ones more reminiscent of 3D animation. Puppet animation is a whole different skill set from traditional animation and both Cartoon Animator and Moho are tailor made for that. All that was a convoluted way of saying. Using these programs to their fullest potential will require proper training. Uh, now, when you surpass the initial learning stages, all of the automation and the innumerable features both programs possess will pay off in dividends since, as mentioned, they are tailor-made for streamlining and speeding up the animation process significantly. So with all of that said, a cartoon animator definitely takes the cake for harder of the two to master, assuming of course that we are talking about the complete package, add-ons and all, especially since to get the most out of its mocap features it will also require a modicum of hardware know-how, and that's besides the sheer amount of functions the program already has. And again here, we are considering the programs themselves, not the skill sets needed to take full advantage of them, such as rigging and whatnot. Uh, this part will surprisingly be short compared to what came previously. Uh, Moho is a very affordable option for those of you who want to dip your toes into the world of puppet animation. It's a great place to learn how to rig and animate while keeping to a similar workflow to regular animation software. You won't find yourself hitting a ceiling either uh, since it can still be upgraded into a more advanced version of itself so you can grow your skill set alongside it essentially. Cartoon Animator however has a high barrier of entry both in terms of price and skill set. Keep in mind that the investment won't be only on the program itself but in all the external hardware that will have to be necessary to take full advantage of its add-ons. Its biggest and only con however is this barrier to entry. Other than that it's a complete package equipped with everything any animator might hope for to achieve the best results in the shortest amount of time. Okay, so every versus video we do here has a lesson to be taken. And the moral of this story is the difference between software made for industry professionals, as in big studio with many trained hands working on massive production, and something that is, although capable of equally great results, is made for a more casual, less strictly produced environment that encourages self-expression and stylization above all. So if you identify yourself in either of these categories then the choice should be rather simple but keep in mind that this is more of a suggestion and you should first and foremost consider your intent and your end goal. Uh, even if you are not hired professional yet it might be worth it to test the waters on Cartoon Animator and vice versa. And that is all we have for you today! We hope you found this video insightful and you learned a thing or two, or at least you had fun watching it. Did you try any of these programs? Let us know in the comments down below! Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there, and we'll catch you soon. So do take care. Bye bye!